so welcome to all namaste everyone in this morning session where we are practicing exercise 2 right so let me brief all these steps and then we will start with your observations so in this exercise 2 we are trying to observe interaction between me and the body so in step 1 of exercise 2 we are trying to see body as a reality and myself as a reality so i am a reality that i can observe activities going on in me and based on that direct observation i can see that i am a reality and based on the observation of activities going on in body i can see body is also a reality both exist and both are two distinct realities self and body so once i am aware that both are distinct realities then in step 2 we are trying to observe interaction between the two and in this step we are trying to see that the interaction between the two realities self and the body is taking place in the form of information no physiochemical thing is being exchanged between the two during interaction so this is what we are trying to observe in step 2 in step 3 we are trying to observe who is decision maker and i can see that i am the one who decides to give instruction to the body i am the one who decides to read specific sensations from the body so in that sense i can see the decisions regarding the exchange of information between the two are entirely mine between me and the body then in step 3 we are also trying to see that i am seer doer and enjoyer so i am seer i see the body i see myself as and when required in that sense i am observer i decide what to do with the body with the information in that sense i am doer and i am the one who experience happiness and unhappiness of my decisions in that sense i am experiencer also so i am seer doer and enjoyer with this step 3 in step 4 we are trying to observe the separation between me and body so when i read the sensation when i read any specific sensation with decision at that time i am asking myself am i the sensation am i in the sensation am i separate from the sensation so with this i am able to see or i can see that i am not the sensation i am not in the sensation and there is a separation between me and this sensation so this separation we are trying to see in this step 4 with this in step 5 we are trying to find out the sources of sensation many sensations are taking place in body and sources could be different so in step 5 we are trying to see the sources of sensations so we discussed these four possible sources first source is there is a sensation in my body because of someone's behavior words sound touch there may be sensation in the body due to physiochemical changes happening outside there are senses in my body due to events happening within the body 
and there are sense there may be senses in my body due to my own imagination so some feelings are going on in me and its impact is seen in the form of sensation in my body so the sources we are trying to observe in step 5 with these sources we have gone through nine sub steps when i interact outside environment or when i read sensations so in this step 5 we are also trying to see when i take decision to read sensation when i take decision how i associate meaning to the sensation in conjunction with my sanskar and i am trying to observe how i get influenced with my sanskar and i feel happy or unhappy based on feeling then i am trying to see based on that feeling i decide to react or response and once i decide to react or response i instruct my body and this is how i express through my body outside and body just follows my instruction but i will react or respond it is my decision so all we have discussed these sub nine steps in step 5 with this na we are trying to observe observe myself observe my body observe the interaction between the two and we are practicing this so from yesterday we are trying to see interaction and this is homework this is the we, we are practicing this homework hai na in every interaction with your family member or colleague at work we have we are observing each step of the interaction others behavior words are leading to some sensation in our body and we are choosing to read this sensation you test this sensation attach some meaning to it on the basis of sanskar and this sanskar may, may be based on knowing or assuming we have to observe are we influenced or not influenced by the other's behavior and what is the feeling we choose to have for the other are we happy unhappy or do we respond react do we give instruction to the body to express outside does the body be follows or not all these steps we are trying to observe in our daily interaction so this is what we are trying to observe with this steps from 1 to 5 so if anyone has observation sharing of these steps of your observation throughout that day from yesterday to today morning you can share it if not then we can move towards step 6 right so my ones what happened uh, with me day before yesterday is that i am in a group i mean in a meeting uh, like that so one person uh, is somewhat <clears throat> taunting in a taunting language so he has addressed it's not that much of difficulty i had but yes man i can understand that uh, uh, he is uh, he is not doing it quite normally but something in uh, some different way and this is a feeling of means taunting only i can understand so obviously that sensation has reached my ears and at that time uh, in front of everyone inside me i am feeling uncomfortable though i am uh, expressing my views and all in respect with that meeting um, <clears throat> but i am not showing or nothing because he obviously the person is in quite higher position now the thing is that 
when i um, return home i i can uh, visualize that uh, this is the sensation i am getting and my self is recognizing means my now again i am feeling that my self is reading those instructions and therefore that feeling of uncomfortability has taken place i can understand that that person is having some lack of competence also because no one if that person is a quite means iconic type then obviously those type of those people will not taunt we can learn values from those people but as person is doing that obviously he has some lack of ethics and all so i can understand but still that thing is going on that why when he is behaving in that way so <clears throat> my self is reading those instructions so how can i <clears throat> how can i understand myself that you should not read those instructions so that is the question by yeah didi so two things are happening when you are able to observe second you are not able to observe mm. so as you said that the other person may be having low competence yeah. this you are able to observe mm. but the other thing is i have taken decision i am influenced by my sanskar and this influence is creating unhappiness in me mm. now i have potential to reevaluate my sanskar this is being ignored by you okay so you have potential to reevaluate your sanskar to correct your feeling based on right understanding this is being ignored by you if you are aware of this potential you can correct your sanskar and you will not be victim of your sanskar so basically you are victim of your sanskar not because of his or her words na so they are words only so i am aware that i am reading those sensation i am aware that i am giving meaning to those sensation Mm-hmm. i am aware that i am influenced now i am aware that i am feeling happy now i am aware that i am giving reaction now mm-hmm. but i am not aware of my potential potential to be in a state of pure observer and with that state of pure observer i can see my sanskar unaffectedly mm-hmm. so once i am affected with my sanskar then it is very difficult to be comfortable within myself mm-hmm. and if i am in a state of pure observer then i can see my sanskar as it is i can evaluate those sanskar i can redirect my feelings feeling of trust feeling of respect then at least i will not be victim of those mm-hmm. this can be done by me right didi mm-hmm. so you but are aware that, that yes i am associating meaning yes but that feeling sexually remains whenever something is going on outside still it is not completely nil that you don't have a uncomfortable yeah. feeling it remains in you because your sanskar are not being evaluated on the basis of right understanding you are able to see that feeling of opposition but you are not able to see that potential where you can see your sanskar unaffectedly and reevaluate those sanskar so one part you are aware that feeling is not good but other part that i have potential to reevaluate my sanskar you are not aware so be aware of your potential and mm-hmm. observe your sanskar as it is without reaction then these sanskar will be evaluated 
on the basis of right understanding. So if I am not aware of this potential, then I will feel helpless. Mm -hmm. Right. So be aware of that potential also, Didi, that we discussed in exercise one, in seven steps. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm, yes, Paya. Okay. Okay, Didi. So practice it. Be aware. Yeah. Okay, Paya. Okay. So let me open step six. Uh, then we will take another sharing. So basically, in step six, uh, Didi will get answer of her problem more clearly. So let's discuss step six. So basically, step six is an extension of step five. So we will see this is step six in two parts, six A and six B but it is an extension of the step five. So in step five, we have seen, we have we are trying to observe the sensation happening in body. We are trying to observe the sensation in the body and we are trying to observe the source of the, and these sensations and these source may be due to human's behavior, physical facility, physiochemical events, imagination in myself that we discussed in step five. And due to these sources, there are sensation in my body. And I decide to read those sensation if I consider it important. I associate meaning to the sensation influenced by my sanskar. And these sanskar may be based on assumption or based on understanding. On the basis of that, I decide to respond or react. So in step five, mainly we are trying to see that whatever I have feeling in me after reading those sensations, these feelings are outcome of my sanskar. I am giving meaning based on my sanskar. And based on that meaning, I am feeling happy or unhappy. If I feel happy, I may try to give response outside. If I am feeling unhappy, I may give, uh, I may react outside. But it is all happening because of my sanskar, which lies in me. This we are trying to see in step five. But in step six, we will see the reaction or respond based on my sanskar. Why I am reacting outside right? when I decide to res respond outside. That we will see in step 6. So in step 6a, we are trying to observe a reaction. If my sanskar based on my assumptions, there is a possibility to react. I may not be reacting outside, but I will be reacting inside if my sanskar are based on assumptions. And this reaction is enslavement. enslavement. What Didi is uh, trying to share. So she is facing reaction inside herself. And this reaction is because of sanskar. And sanskars are based on assumptions. And these sanskars are not based on reality. That's why I am facing reaction in me. Sometimes I react outside. Sometimes I don't react outside. But important is I am becoming victim of this sanskar. Whether I react outside or not react outside. But I am reacting inside. If I am not able to Reevaluate my sanskar based on right understanding. So in step 6a, basically we are going to observe why I am reacting 
inside. So if my sanskar is based on assumptions without knowing, I am not able to ensure a state of continuous happiness within. Right. And if I am not able to ensure a state of continuous happiness within, so I keep seeking happiness from outside. So sometimes I keep seeking happiness from sensations and sometimes I keep seeking happiness from feeling from others. Right. So if my sanskar, I am not able to see my sanskar, I am not able to reevaluate my sanskar. So what will happen? I will try to get happiness from outside. And there are two possible sources to get happiness from outside. One is from sensation that is happening in the body. Second is feeling from others. So my decisions are influenced by my, this sensation. So if I like the taste, for example, I am reading sensation of the body. And if I like that sensation, that taste or feeling deduced from sensation through sanskar, then I become happy. And I like to continue with that taste. So for example, if I read sensation of the body, and I feel it tasty. So it creates craving, clinging, attachment in me. And I like to continue that sensations. I like to continue with the taste. This is a reaction. A reaction at the labor of sensation. I want to repeat that taste again and again. And this is a, a reaction. Similarly, when I read sensation and I give meaning it to it, some feelings are derived in me because of those meanings. And if I find some pleasant emotions in me, some good feeling in me, I want to continue this feeling within me. This is also a reaction. In another case, if I dislike the taste, suppose I am I have decided to read sensation and I read sensation and I don't like that sensation. So I react inside. I like to discontinue that taste. I want myself keep away from that taste. This is also a reaction that is happening within me. Similarly, I am reading sensation and deducing some feeling out of this sensation. And once I find unpleasant emotions, unpleasant feeling, then I react within. And this reaction makes me unhappy. So in this step 6a, and this is step 6a, trying to draw our attention on the reaction that is happening inside me. So in step 5, we observed, with the help of step 5, we observed to be aware of interaction between me and the body. We observed how I associate meaning to this sensation and in step 6 we are trying to observe whenever I like the taste sensation I want to continue with that taste whenever I find an unpleasant sensation I want to keep away myself from this sensation so this is a reaction similarly at the level of feeling also I read some sensation I give it uh, meaning. Some feelings happens in me based on my sanskar. If these feelings are comfortable, you know, pleasant emotions, then I want to continue it. 
if this feeling is not good for me i want to discontinue it so this is again a reaction so what lipi did is sharing you know she was sharing that she had some unpleasant emotions unpleasant feelings within herself and now she want to discontinue this feeling this is a reaction inside so in both cases we are reacting inside if i decide to react outside i will use my body otherwise i am reacting inside in both the cases so this is what we are studying with the help of 6a step 6a so it is very important step so i am in reaction inside so sometimes i want to continue some feeling some times i don't want to continue this feeling sometimes i want to continue some taste sometimes i don't want to continue this taste and these both are a reaction and it is happening because of my sanskar right okay so my sanskar based on assumptions it create reaction in me and this reaction is enslavement so i may express my reaction outside to the body to the feeling that the other is expressing and doubting the intention getting irritated shouting back etc so i may react outside i may react to physiochemical changes happening it outside in contact with my body i may react to the state of body for example there is a headache i start reacting on it i may come uh, react outside to the discomfort inside so i have a feeling of anger frustration opposition and, and i am reacting on those feeling because i don't want to continue it in myself so i am reacting inside and when i decide i react outside so this is what happening in me so let's talk over this step 6a so before discussion of step 6a let's take a pause of 5 minutes you just observe yourself you just observe your sensation and then you observe am i reacting on this sensation reacting means if i find pleasant sensation i want to continue it if i don't find pleasant sensation i want to discontinue it is it happening within me or not similarly if i find good feeling in me i want to continue it and unpleasant emotions i want to continue this if some unpleasant emotions are lying in me i want to discontinue it so this is the reaction so favorable thing i want to continue i want to discontinue unfavorable feelings or sensations and it is creating a reaction and this is a reaction right so reaction is not because of outside environment reaction is because i want to discontinue some things in me i want to continue something in me so this is a reaction so let's observe it for 5 minutes then we'll we will discuss you know this is step 6 in detail so we can sit comfortably we can start observing and observe are you reacting or responding you can observe both
नमस्ते भैया वेरी नाइस इंटरेस्टिंग स्टेप्स एक्चुअली आई एम फाइंडिंग दैट आफ्टर आफ्टर स्टेप आफ्टर स्टेप नंबर फोर आफ्टर स्टेप नंबर फोर इट सेल्फ इज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्टेप फाइव एंड सिक्स ए आर आल्सो सो व्हाट इट इज एक्चुअली एस्टेडेज एग्जांपल आई एम टेकिंग आई वाज वॉकिंग थ्रू द मार्केट प्लेस एस्टेडे वॉज द मार्केट डे आई हैव टू बाय वेजिटेबल्स सो वाइल मूविंग to the specific shops i had to cross some non veg shops also and i don't like uh, as a sanskar being vegetarian uh, means in my feeling there was a wrong feeling at that time but what i did i i changed the way i know what shops are there so though it was very difficult not proper road i changed the way and went so we are still it is reaction or response you can see i was not unhappy i have not tested that bad sensation of the non veg or something like that or even seeing the eyes also uh, automatically i changed the path and done but we are still it is the reaction or response to the event ji bhai please thank you 6a yes to so- so this you have to explore within you you know ji you change your path automatically ji so it happened automatically or it happened with your decision number 1 ji ji and if it happens with your decision now what sanskar were working based on the base uh, on the base of this decision जी राइट मे बी सम एजम्पन्स आर वर्किंग मे बी सम अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज वर्किंग राइट एंड सम एजम्पन्स आर वर्किंग सो यू हैव टू एक्सप्लोर इट अगेन वेदर इट वाज रिएक्शन और नॉट सो दिस इज द एरिया वेयर वी हैव टू वर्क इन डेप्थ जी सो बेसिकली व्हाट हैज हैपेंड हां हां यू हैव सीन है ना सम You can say bad thing. You can say yeah. We are expecting yes. bad thing. Suppose non-veg is cutting there, and I don't want to see that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so not. Uh, don't uh, we cannot say bad thing, but we have given meaning to it like this that it is bad. So once Ji. I have labeled it as bad, so definitely I will have a feeling of opposition. Ji. so when we label things good bad right wrong so this labeling creates uh, feelings in me so when i say it is good some good feelings arise in me when i say it bad it is bad some bad feeling arise in me ji so important is are we able to see the things as it is without labeling and this label is coming from my assumption okay right. agreed 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 so what happen automatically what i think is not automatically some Egypt. assumptions has worked in me hmm. 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 right and we have to explore those assumptions in the on the basis of reality on the basis of understanding i may conclude that something is happening and not aligned with the coexistence hmm 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 that we can yes. say yes 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 so yes. something is happening many things is happening outside yeah yeah there can be number of example where human is involved where yeah, human yeah. is involved yeah so when human is not able to see that coexistence relationship harmony ha huh, ha huh. in the lack of that right understanding something is happening but so this still, can be yeah. said okay you please complete please complete thank uh, you right you you say you say but but what what i am finding this because from yesterday also um, no sooner this because this is my fourth cycle no sooner this yeah. point comes so whenever the things which are not labeling but uh, which are in opposition to coexistence or which are not in line with the coexistence so uh, i think that uh, there there is development of the reaction inside 
but by doing something for example moving from that place and closing the nose not breathing for some seconds that also helps so i think it is the response and not the reaction that is my question basically for such, such things there are so many smoking in the place where i don't like um, bad clothes wearing persons not following um, good this one or uh, speaking loudly whatever be the exercise yesterday was given so these are all the things but i can realize uh, due to these steps or this due to this um, uh, uh, repeating the exercises now i can see that there is no reaction but definitely th there is a response response of keeping our happiness continuous means being happy all the time no doubt i have to go through it so i will go but i will shut my nose is it correct bhaiya will you comment on this please the response means i am protecting my body from outside ha, something ha, is happening ha, ha. Ji, and ji. my body can be damaged so i am protecting my body ji if i have a feeling of protection of my body then it is response ji 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 similarly okay. at the level of self also i am protecting those scenes because it may disturb my consciousness it exactly. may disturb me exactly exactly so i am protecting myself ji 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 it may be a response it may be a response that, that that's it that that i am finding i was uh, initially i raised the hand and i was uh, having this question but you were telling that if you are happy with the good senses if you are not happy with the bad it is all reaction but i think now it is it may be response now because i am doing for protecting my consciousness i am not blaming that man who is doing that bad things or so called label what he it is his business it is coexistence but i have to uh, protect myself my consciousness or myself or self should not be miss i should not get unhappy that is my basic aspiration ji bhaiya yes right so yes, i am protecting you. myself i, I am protecting it, my yes, body. yes yes finally i, I got my answer <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah, in the yeah. response i am thinking how can i help other people in the society ah. Ji, so ji. that people may act according to coexistence relation and harmony yeah 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 that is participation in larger order first i have to start yes. with self first i am i i become in the state of basic aspiration i i must be sound i should not be get reacted or i should not be disturbed then and then it is possible further ji bhaiya right right yeah ji ji thank you very nice it was the point so i got ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच नमस्ते नमस्ते सभी को धन्यवाद धन्यवाद आई एम इन द हैबिट ऑफ डूइंग मॉर्निंग वॉक फॉर ऑन आवर माय प्लेस राइट नाउ इट इज रेनिंग एंड आई वाज व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड टू टू गो आउट ऑफ माय हाउस आई वाज अपोज्ड विद द फीलिंग दैट यस आई विल आई बी इन ट्रबल और I'll not be enjoying the my morning walk because of rain is rain is there and it is disturbing. Mm. Uh, so there was some sensation in me. I tried to evaluate my sensation. Ah, uh, then I thought that the rainy season is for the rain. If it is not raining. then we may complain that there is no rain in the rainy season and see what are the uh, the changes it has occurred in the environment so on and so forth many reactions so i thought that i, I used my sanskar uh, and uh, i evaluated that yes this is uh, to be the rain will be there and i have to accommodate to it whether even if if i don't like it i may not go outside i may continue with my exercises at in the home itself so uh, there was a lot of reaction like that and uh, i resolved finally that yes perhaps this is very natural and there was no uh, reaction rather i responded i responded 
and uh, this was my feeling at that time. Thank you. Okay. So it is good that you are able to see the reaction within you. you know? So things are happening outside. Yeah. But I am in a reaction. Why I am in a reaction? Because I, I want to continue something which seems pleasant to me. Yeah, yeah. And I want to discontinue something because it is unpleasant to me. So basically, yeah. I am struggling within me. And I, raining is raining. It is raining outside. You cannot do. It is happening because of some innate laws. And because of some environmental laws. It is happening. Yeah. But what is happening in me, I am getting victim of it. Mm -hmm. So if I am not able to That's see normal. as it is in align with harmony, in align with nature, so I want to discontinue or I want to change it. And this that I want to change it is creating a reaction in me. So I am not accepting the thing which is happening in align with the harmony coexistence. What I am trying to do, I am trying to uh, change it. And because I am not able to change it, so I am in a reaction. So I can accept it. This is in my hand. I can accept it. Then I can evaluate it on the basis of right understanding. But I am not doing this. If I think it is pleasant, I want to continue it. If I don't think it is a pleasant, I don't want to continue it. So this is a reaction. And finally, you accepted it and you have resolved it. This is good way. And that is what we are practicing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Okay, bye. <clears throat> okay. So with this step uh, 6A, now I will open step 6B. Then we can talk in more detail tomorrow. So let me open step uh, 6B briefly. Then we will discuss it tomorrow. So in step A, 6A, we are trying to observe how we react inside. Now, whether we react outside or not, it is our decision. But we are reacting inside because of some craving, because of I want to continue some pleasant emotions within me, because of I want to discontinue. You know, some unpleasant unpleasant emotions in me. I want to discontinue some unpleasant sensation within me. So this is what creating reaction in me. Right? And in step 6b, we will talk about response. So if my sanskar is based on knowing, right understanding, I have the right feeling and I continue to be in a state of harmony, happiness, based on right understanding. So have continuity of harmony, continuity of understanding you know, of coexistence, harmony and relationship. This can continue in me every moment. So if my sanskar is based on knowing right understanding, then it will naturally continue in me. So I use the sensation to make the right evaluation of the body outside world myself and then decide how to respond. So if I am associating meaning based on right understanding, so based on right understanding, I will try to right evaluate the sensation. You know? Try to right evaluate the sensation of the body try to write evaluate outside world, try to write evaluate myself and then decide how to respond. But what is happening when I am in a reaction? I am not rightly evaluate the, I am not rightly evaluating the sensation, the feeling. I want to continue it or I want to discontinue it if my sanskar are based on assumption. 
but if my sanskars are based on understanding then i will try to reevaluate i will try to rightly evaluate the sensation the outside world myself and based on that right evaluation i will decide to respond outside so for example the feeling the other is expressing is indication of his state or being suppose some person is expressing his feeling for example anger opposition i am reading this sensation that is happening in my body now on the basis of right understanding i am evaluating myself i am rightly evaluating others also so on the basis of right understanding i am rightly evaluating the other that he is expressing this feeling because he is influenced by his sanskar so it is the state of his sanskar that's why he is expressing this excitement anger he doesn't have right understanding he needs help so what can i do to assure him express right feeling like respect help him to develop right understanding this will go in my mind with right understanding okay. so i will try to help that person because i know he is expressing his sanskar and the current state of sanskar is not aligning with the reality understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence so what i will do i will try to help him i will not react on it i will try to help him because now i am rightly evaluating him now i am rightly evaluating myself similarly physiochemical changes in the environment so if there are physiochemical changes in the environment i will read this sensation and based on that reading based on my right understanding i will respond what to wear what not to wear what temperature should be outside what not this i will think with right understanding i evaluate the state of my body with right understanding for example headache so this headache is indicating some disharmony in body so based on right understanding i will start facilitating my body and similarly i will evaluate my state of being so this is a response if my sanskar are based on right understanding if my sanskar are based on assumption i may react inside and i may decide to react outside but if my sanskar are based on uh, understanding then i will respond i will rightly evaluate outside i will rightly evaluate sensation i will rightly evaluate my sanskar also and in the combination of these understanding these evaluation i will respond outside i will respond my sanskar also so this we will practice and you know? i have just opened this step 6b we will talk uh it tomorrow in more detail